hi guys welcome back to my channel so on this video i'm going to show you how i retouch my image using the retouch academy and i still have um the texture on this image so without wasting much time let's just get to it so at first what i'm going to do is to duplicate this background layer so here i just um press command j on my keyboard to duplicate or i drag it down to this point to duplicate also so whichever so once i get to my retouch academy panel you see um just look at where you have frequency separation you see via gaussian blur and others um i like using gaussian blur so i'm just going to click gaussian blur so after that after clicking it's going to show me this um gaussian blur box so i'm just to select a radius right here so to select this radius i'm going to shift it to 0 0.1 then i sample a place on this image that has blemishes so i think here is okay so i'm now going to take this to when i can't really see the texture from here not here but from here so i'll just take it to seven is okay i'm just going to hit okay but note that it's not all your image you'll be using seven so depending on, on your image once you just do this process i did to get that seven you know the exact number to use on your image so after opening the um frequency separation via gaussian blur so you can see the eye texture layer the eye texture layer is actually two so this is the main one this one right here is being matched to this down one so if i want to pick up blemishes i'm going to use this one up here to pick up the blemishes so i have the correcting tones i have the low frequency so if you want to brush you will use the low frequency but on this video i'm going to be using this correcting tone to brush this image so i'll use here to pick the blemishes so let's just get to it so while i select here i'm just going to pick on my clone stamp because i love using the tool to pick up blemishes so i'm just going to zoom it in a bit so make sure when you're picking up blemishes the size of the brush should be the same size with the blemishes that you want to pick don't use a smaller brush to pick up blemishes so to pick up blemishes using clone stamp just um, locate a, a place that there is no blemishes is just sample it by just holding your option key then you click on the place you let go of the option key then you now click on where you have the blemishes to replace so i'm just going to repeat that process to pick up some blemishes that are really looking obvious so, so you can now see how i'm picking them so i'll just come to this part then i'll see you pick some of it now we'll come here and pick on them so i'm going to remove this hair right here by just doing like this and i'll just remove at this point also so you can now see the way i'm using to remove that hair another there's another step i can use to make that hair but i'll just show you in a different video but on this video that's how i'm going to remove the hair right there so after picking some blemishes the blemishes are not much so i'm just going to start brushing this image so to brush this image i'll come to the correcting tones normally you have to use the low frequency but i love using this correcting tone because i didn't even know let me not say just watch this video to the end so you see the full result of that so i'm going to pick on the mixer brush so i'll just change this to a clean brush and the weight is at 30 load at 25 mix at 30 and flow at 35 so that's the setting i'm going to use and i'm going to come and hit this sample all layer so if i'm using this low frequency to brush i'm not going to hit on this place right here so using this correcting tone layer because it's an empty layer so i need to sample all layer 
So I'm just going to come right here and close the visibility of this texture layer. So you can now see the image is blurry and I'm just going to start brushing this image. So make sure you select the correcting tone and also the sample or layer. So once you do that, you're good to go. So I'm just going to start brushing this image like this. So you guys will love the, the outcome of this. Just watch till the end. So I'm just going to brush this image like this. So you can now see the image is really looking plastic, but you shouldn't worry about that. And make sure while brushing, you don't get rid of the highlight or the shadows. You try blending them. Where you have the highlights, maintain the highlight right there. And where you have the shadows, you also maintain it right there. I'm just going to brush this nose part like this. And also like this. And you can see the image is kind of looking plastic, but you shouldn't worry about that. So I'm just going to brush this like this. Mm, I'll just brush this. And I'm just trying to smoothen it. And I'm also maintaining the highlight and the shadows on this picture right here. So I'll just brush this other part. So you can now see where I'm using a bigger brush and also where I'm using a smaller brush to brush this image. So you need to take note of all of this. So that's why I advise you pay attention and observe all the details on this video so you can get the result perfectly. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to open this texture layer so you guys can see it and see how the effect looks. I'm just going to open it like this. So you can now see how it's looking. Let me show you the before and after. So this is the before and after. And after doing that, I'll just zoom it in a bit. And I'll just pick on the clone stamp again, then select the eye frequency to pick some of these blemishes off. So I'm just going to take it like this off. And also, yeah. Just a little bit of it is fine. So I'll take this hair right here off as well. Now come here and take. Well, I don't want to pick all the blemishes. I won't end up making this image look flat. So other blemishes will remain just to make the picture look natural. So up here, you can now see how this place is looking. It's not really giving, so I'm just going to do like this. Just try and get rid of this line. And I'll take this A off and all that, and this one too. So once I'm done with that, I'll just zoom out a bit. Then I'll come back to the correcting tone. Then also hide the visibility of that layer. I'll come to my mixer brush and I'll just make some finishing touch to the first area. So I get to brush the hand and also the neck of this subject right here. So I'm just going to do like this. So where I pick this here, I'm going to blend it. And once I'm done, I'll just get to the neck area. And I'll just brush like this. And also this part, I'll just brush it like that. So I won't really do much on this side. Just... A little bit blending is fine. So this is how I'll do it. So you guys can now see how it's looking. I'm not using just one size of brush to brush everywhere. I'm changing the size so you pay attention to that also because the size of brush you do use also helps so you don't want to use the size of brush that you just use in flattening the image and after retouching the image will be looking flat 
so you need to understand and just pay attention to the details of the brush size also so i'm just going to do a little bit on this neck and this area so just i'll just brush this part also off Like this, mm, just blend these players, then reduce the size also, then also retouch this area. So, and also this. So once I'm done, I'll just come and open this layer right here. So let me show you a quick before and after. So you can now see how it's looking. So I'll come to the high frequency. Then also pick on the clone stamp again. So I can just pick few blemishes up at like this. So just a little bit. And the ones that are really looking obvious. So I don't want to take everything off. Also just to make the picture look natural so and i've come to the end of this video so let me show you guys the before and after so if you think anyway is not perfect you can just come back then just close the visibility of that layer right there and just correct it so once you're done correcting you come back and open it so you can now see how this image is looking so this is the before and after this is the before and after so this is how i got to use the retouch academy in retouching this image so thank you guys for watching i hope this video is helpful please give us a thumbs up and also comment on this video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel for more helping tutorial videos but for now i hope to see you in the next video bye for now